Hey, what's up? This is Hexan DIY channel, and today I will show you how to calibrate IMAX B6 balance charger. Once you buy this charger, it is a good idea to check whether it is well calibrated, especially if you have a thick one, because if it's not, it can result in battery overcharge or undercharge. So if you want to learn how to take a good care of your batteries, watch this video to the end. In this video I will use a charger, a battery, a multimeter, and some wiring to connect everything together. If you would like to acquire anything of this stuff, find links in the description below this video. It is quite simple to calibrate this charger. First you need to switch it off. Then turn on your charger while holding G command and start buttons pressed in. When charger is on, you will see a bit different display, which is a calibration display. In the top left corner you will see a two-digit number, which is a voltage error, and on the right, a voltage of the battery. When I check my battery with a multimeter, it shows 3.7 ohm volts. Now let's plug in this battery to the charger. As you can see, battery reading on the charger is 3.7 ohm volts, which is slightly different with that which is on the multimeter. Therefore, we need to adjust the voltage on the charger so it matches the true voltage of the battery. To adjust voltage, you need to use either decrement or increment button. In this case, obviously I need to increment voltage reading, so I will press increment button until 3.70 volts reaches the actual voltage of the battery, which is 3.71 volts. As you can see, I've put an adjustment which is plus 1, and now we see a correct voltage reading on the charger, which is the same as on the multimeter display. Genuine chargers like this one are well calibrated and does not have any voltage error or it is very small, but fakes usually are not calibrated at all and there are big chances to find very big voltage error. All that's left to do is to save this calibration error into the charger. Simply press start enter button and we are good to go. Next time you switch your charger on, the voltage reading will be correct. So that's it for today. Please like this video, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.